Hey what's up everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got a quick overview for you of iOS 9 which Apple introduced to us at WWDC 2015's keynote yesterday alongside Mac OS X El Capitan as well as Watch OS 2.0. So of course this is the first developer's preview and the public beta will not be available until sometime in July. So at this point you will need an Apple developer's account in order to register your device to use the beta which will cost you $99 a year. However if you head over to iOSpreview.com you can register your device's UDID at just $599 and it is compatible with iPhone 4S and newer, the iPad 2 and newer, all of the iPad mini models as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. The website has all of the instructions to find your UDID, register it, and also the instructions to install the iOS 9 beta onto your device successfully after you have registered your device. So I will be leaving a link in the description to that. So now let's take an actual hands-on look. And I have to say, with iOS 9, I wasn't really sure what to expect, nor was I overly excited for it. And for the most part, the features that were brought forward by Apple were pretty much stuff that we have been waiting for and I would say a lot of us are glad to see. The first thing is the low battery mode and by enabling it, it will maximize the battery life of your iPhone of course. It will lower the screen brightness, slow down some of the resources and the refresh rates and it will give you up to 3 hours of extra battery life which is a very handy feature. And I'm sure I'll be using it a lot on my iPhone 6 in particular. The next feature is the search function which Apple has definitely improved this year by a lot. By typing in keywords, it will bring up some information such as the score of a sports team and news which you could say is somewhat reminiscent of Google Now in terms of accessing information quickly. In iOS 9 we also have 6 digit passcodes and a 2 factor authentication and also an easier way to migrate from Android to iOS devices. One of the greatest things though, especially for people out there who may be running out of space on their device is that iOS 9 takes up just 1.3 gigabytes as opposed to 4.58 gigabytes from iOS 8. As a pretty regular user of Notes used with iCloud, I am really happy with the changes that they have brought to Notes app. You are now able to do a quick sketch whether it is with the pencil, pen, and marker they provided and eraser, but the ruler is also very helpful as well. You can also change up the colors and after you are done, just tap done and it will add it to that note. With the touch of a button, you can also add a checklist within your notes, which is something that I'm sure I'll be using a lot, and easily add a photo or video into there as well. Another thing that Apple talked a lot about in the event was Siri, and they have definitely improved it. Siri is smarter than ever and is able to perform a few new tasks, such as show me videos I took at a birthday party from this month, this location, or add a reminders from your messages, and this sort of works in conjunction with the search in order to bring you very intelligent functions, quick access to information, as well as serving sort of as your personal assistant. In addition to that, Apple has changed the name of Passbook to Wallet and that all combines up with Apple Pay which unfortunately isn't available where I live in Canada. And the multitasking window also has a new look as well which I think looks great. It kind of has the overlapping card layout which in some cases may not be as functional as it was before but one of the things I really wanted to see but didn't was the ability to close all of your apps at once. Before I forget though, one of the things I really like actually is the fact that you can just have two fingers on the keyboard and by holding down it will turn it into a trackpad. That makes it much easier to select text as to just trying to fiddle with it. And as you may have noticed, throughout iOS 9 it is using the San Francisco font which we saw on the Apple Watch and whether you like it or not, it is there to stay. But other than that, be sure to let me know in the comments section what you think about iOS 9 and in my opinion, I think the changes that were made were necessary and of course there were some that I was hoping for but didn't see. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends as it helps the channel out a bunch and I'll see you all in the next one.